Welcome to Staying Relevant, the podcast of Sam Thompson and Peter James Wicks, a couple of best friends. Um, I'm actually going to do the explicit note here. Uh, there's going to be swearing in this. Pete might say the odd I'm very sorry, but it is what it is. He's a miserable So moving forward, you can watch us on YouTube every single Friday and you can also listen to us every single Monday wherever you get your podcast. Um, that was actually very good. You didn't name me for that. Were you pissed this morning when you put that T-shirt on? No, I even put it on my Instagram story. Hufflepuff all day long, baby. I'm proud. So, what in the dick fuck was that? Ah. Uh, okay, so you've, you've crossed Harry Potter with Kiss. Yeah. No, I just, I don't, no, I don't even listen to Kiss, but I love Hufflepuff. No, I don't mean the radio. Uh, the band. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> but I don't think everyone on Kiss Radio goes, oh, blah, blah. <laughs> Mate, this is a banging tea. I'm a Hufflepuff. It's fucking awful. Yellow is a disgusting colour, especially on you, because you look a little bit like you've got jaundice anyway. So <laughs> it's not a great colour. Sorry, mate. Let's just retract quickly. Cedric Diggory is all I need to say to that. All right. Um, Gary Smith is all I need to <laughs> say in return, because I don't... That means nothing. Okay. Uh, Helga Hufflepuff. Have one of them. All right. Newt's, Newt's Canander. Dave Jones. Hey, well, how's it? Well, I don't know. We're just saying names at each other. No, we're not. No, no. I, don't, I don't understand what the fucking point of what you're doing is. Basically, You've got a stupid fucking shirt on and you look ridiculous. You're going to get one of these when we play Quidditch together. I'm not playing Quidditch. We're not doing that again. Um, so normally this is the point where I just ask you how your week's been and all that sort of stuff. But to be perfectly honest, I know exactly what you've been doing this week because this is the second record of the day. So um, I'm going to move on to something that is quite interesting. Go on, what you got for us? So, um, good friend of mine, um, Cushel. Yeah. Oh, uh, Cushel Strauss, Strauss yes. who Pete always says he's not slept with. I have a, But there's always a question mark. There's, she's, a, she's a good friend and I uh, love her. She's great. Put it this way, before we say that, uh, we met her at the same time. We actually did a job interview together. I never spoke to her since. Pete's been for multiple dinners. She's a friend and she's great. We love Chriselle, Um, and she loves us. She's, she's fucking great. So anyway, I was um, on the way in this morning and I noticed the story on her... Um, Story, a story on her Instagram story. Yeah. Call that to sounded weird then, a story on a story. Anyway, from BuzzFeed, which is a article where you can basically find out exactly, uh, exactly when and how you're going to die, um, down to the exact minute and location. It's morbid for a so podcast. So I thought this could be quite a good idea for us to do. Um, so I've got the link. So we're going to do it now. And it's a really short uh, like questionnaire to find out all this information. All right, so you ready for this? Question before we start. Oh, you don't have to put your hand up. I'm not your teacher. Okay, so... I imagine yours is like relatively soon. Um, mine, I can tell you actually, because I did it before we got. You are it, not getting past a, forty-five. Just to save a bit of time, um, uh, I yeah okay. So this is how Pete Wicks dies. <clears throat> so bear in mind we're in twenty twenty-three. You are going to die on May the tenth, twenty thirty-one. <laughs> has got long left, baby. At one seventeen p.m. in your studio apartment in Miami. I'll take that it. Is so you. Uh, as a result of trying to do a back handspring off of your kitchen counter whilst drunk. Your house is found filled with glow-in-the-dark bananas, an orange peddling vending machine, and a robe made of gummy bears. Your eulogy is held by Lindsay Lohan, who always lovingly called you PT. Written on your expansive tomb is, don't try to do anything too out of the box. It will end in a box. I'll be honest with you, didn't think much of, of, of whether this was going to actually be semi-true. That does sound a little bit like how I might die, drunk in Miami in about seven, eight years' time. I can see you having a little apartment in Miami, basically, on your own. A studio apartment as well, which means that things haven't gone well. I, ima <laughs> I imagine this is when me and you try go to try and crack America. You come home to, you know, your radio station. I stay out there on my own. You know, I've just, I've just gone in a downward spiral. Um, so that's how I'm going to die. Okay. Um, and let's bear in mind that that is only in eight years. That's eight That's years a time. good eight years. And to be honest with you, I'll take it because I never thought I'd make it to 40 and I've said that for a long time and that would actually put me at 43. So it's actually given me three years. So, should we do yours then? Um, so you've just got to answer these questions. Okay, so first name is, is it Sam or Samuel? Sam. So it's just Sam. How do you not know that? 
Okay, and how old are you? So you're 30 to 39 years old. Describe your life in one word, Sam. Boring, chaotic, dangerous, or fulfilling? Chaotic. Boring. <laughs> no chaotic. How, how often do you think about death? Not too often. I never do. Literally every waking moment of the day or every once in a while when something triggers it. Every once in a while when something triggers it. Okay. Um, would you choose to be immortal if you had the option? Absolutely, yes. Yep, I knew that would be the answer. A helicopter drops you in the middle of the woods. How long do you think you'll survive? Oh, ages. What? I'm a survivor. One night, a couple of nights, a month or more, I would be dead as soon as my feet touch the month ground. Month or more, mate. I'd, okay. make my, I'd make the woods my bitch. Yeah, I would be dead as soon as my feet touch the ground then. No, <laughs> no, that's not what I said. Sam, you wouldn't survive. How would you cope without your team? Without the butler, without the cleaner, without Zara, without your social media manager, without your managers, without your videographer, without everyone? How would you cope? <laughs> like I just everyone. don't know. You would be left... You'd a... eat your shit. I don't know if you... Listen, you're alone. I'm not there. Oh, yeah. All right, fine. What, you... I'd eat my own shit. Yeah. So you're not... So you're just... Okay, Recycle. Cool. Finally, do you think anyone will remember you in 100 years? Absolutely, yes. What for? Statues. They're going to be fucking statues. But why would they... Okay. The, it's a struggle to have a conversation with you sometimes. So you, presumably you've got a statue because you did something memorable. Yes. So so that's the question. Yeah. People aren't going to remember you because there's a statue of you. They're going to remember you because you did something memorable, which is why there's a statue. Yeah. So what did you do that was memorable that you think people will remember in 100 years' time? Uh, me and my best mate, Pete, went to America, cracked it, became big-time showbiz hosts, then started our own production company in America, started making movies, and uh, then, then I had to sack you off. And um, and then I revolutionised Hollywood. <gasps> well, all right, fucking hell. How long have I got, baby? What are we looking at? 3, 30, 40, 50 years? Well, this is a surprise. A billion. Okay, just pounds. so everyone thinks I haven't made this up, all right? <clears throat> I don't think this is how Sam dies. You are going to die at 7.12am on April the 26th, 2025. Fuck me! What? From a severe allergic reaction to too many donuts. <laughs> after consuming the seventh one in a row, after you die, your house is found filled with thousands of donuts, a hundred deflated balloons, and a fully grown bullfrog in the bathroom. Your eulogy will be given by actor Cameron Diaz, who will always lovingly call you her sweet Sammy Bean. Written on your headstone is Stop and Smell the Donuts. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. That doesn't sound too out there. I mean, you're going to die before me. So you're going to die. Basically, you've got a couple of years left, mate. See, I knew there was a reason why I wanted to do that. You're going <laughs> to fucking die before me. No, I'm not, Pete. I'm gonna and maybe you. that's why I end up in that downward spiral because the thought of you leaving me fills me with so much joy that I get too drunk and then actually feel bad and then go on a downward spiral because I feel guilty that you're dead. I actually think all the time about what would happen if you died. Okay. Like, I think of myself at the funeral. What would I say? How would I say it? Because I'd obviously be speaking. Why do you think, for a start, firstly, when I'm dead, I don't care. Throw me off a cliff. I couldn't give a fuck. I don't need a funeral. <laughs> There's uh, irrelevant. I'm not interested. I'm going to... Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to shove something out your ass. <laughs> I'm just, is that how I'm going to die? Or is no, that... I'm just going to do something really weird to you and <laughs> knowing Sam, that you can't do anything back. Sam, this, is, this, isn't, this isn't like fucking 80 years ago where people had the open fucking car. I'm not going to be an open casket where you can come and finger my arsehole whilst I'm dead, you fucking necrophiliac weird fuck. I'm going to do something so weird to you. I don't know what it is yet. But Sam, why will you be in the in the vicinity of my fucking dead Fuck body? Me. Obviously, I'll be I'll be front and centre. You haven't got any mates. I'd be the only one there. I don't want any. I'm dead. Yeah, but that's but I'll make sure that we do a thing for you. Just stick me on the fucking fire and fucking light me up, and um, that's it. There's do you know what I want to be when I die? I want to be fed to a whale. What? I want to be fed to a whale. So whales don't generally eat meat. Unless yeah, it's a killer whale. Only rolled up into a ball and what? fed to a whale. So you think whales are just going to have a day off from eating plankton and go, oh, do you know what I fancy, a Thompson? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they'll put stuff around me that makes me edible. And I'll just Sorry, so you, you think a whale's just going to suddenly decide that they want like a Sam Thompson sushi roll? Yeah. 
Yeah. What, well, a little bit of seaweed around you and they'll just... Oh, nom, nom. Yeah. Fed to a blue well. Oh, that's Lovely. the fucking weirdest thing I've ever heard. Or have a tree grow out of me. That'd be nice. What do you mean a tree grow out of you? You mean use your ashes yeah. in the soil? Yeah. You don't mean like like put a seed up your arsehole? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me. Well, that went a lot weirder than I, I thought we would. Who do you generally do think is going to die first? It is yeah, you buy mine, obviously. Yeah, right. yeah. Okay. You haven't got long left. All right, then. Fine. Um, all right, well, that was a little bit of fun. I enjoyed that. You're going to die soon. So, um, staying relevant. We've both done stuff, actually, this week to stay relevant. And well, it's very... On brand. It is on brand. This is, we, we've done something that I am incredibly proud of. And I am not. No, fuck off. You're very proud of this. So, right. Drum roll, please. Do the drum roll. Just do the drum roll. Why did we need a drum roll and then like the, 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 the sort of semi-end part of EastEnders? <laughs> so... Pete and myself have a billboard, baby! We've got loads of billboards. We've literally, they, we've stuck them everywhere. We've got them in Wandsworth. We've got them in fucking Luton. We've got them in, we've got them in Bradford. We've got fucking, we've got, we got them everywhere. Hundreds and hundreds of billboards. And they are sick. Um, I, I just want to... Be realistic about it. There's not hundreds. There's 35 of them. Are there only um, 35? Yeah. There's not hundreds. That's of quite a lot Sam. still. Um, and we've been sent some of the billboards, um, some of which are at the back of buildings no one sees. Um, no, that's one. There's one that's quite hard to see. Some of which, uh, you know, I, we, we got sent one where people are just happily doing their shopping. I think somewhere in Gateshead. And above Greg's is a picture of me and Sam on a billboard, uh, which is fucking weird. It's fucking uh, cool. Now, if you haven't seen the billboard, look out for them. Tag us in them. Tag Staying Relevant in it as well, which is a podcast because we want to see. But we want the funny parts of it. The billboard, it's not bad for me because I'm just sat down dressed. Sam's naked on a fur rug. No, a fur rug is round my crotch. And the problem is, is because Sam is naked on a fur rug, um, you look like you've got an erection in it as well. Because the way the, the rug is sort of just, it's just sort of hanging on your dick. Now, if you've not seen that, we're probably going to flash it up or something now, all right? Uh, and you can see. And if you actually take notice, it genuinely looks like the rug is being held up by his cock. Well, I'll tell you why that is, because we're touching with fingers. So just the, the finger touch. Yeah, so we are touching oh. indexes, right? And, and that it, created a spark between us. No, I don't have a knob on, but having said that, we are touching and it's fucking great. It's one of the best pictures you will ever see in your life. Okay, so now, I don't think I've ever done this with Sam. Why, why are we doing that? Uh, we're doing that to get s some eyeballs on and some ear no, no, holes. No, why open. are we doing the finger thing? Oh, oh, because it's the Sistine Chapel and it's God and and someone else touching fingers. Uh, okay, but who who's the artist? Leonardo da Vinci. No, I know this. I'm actually not entirely sure. I do, but I, 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 think I do. Got I know it. Idea. Okay, I'm going to tell you then. Uh, so it's Michelangelo. Michelangelo. And the painting's called. If I get this right, my fucking G. Really not what you think it's going to be. What is it? I believe it's the creation of Adam. Fuck off. It's unreal. Private school, boarding school. <laughs> Fuck all. Um, so that's why we're doing it, because obviously that is a really famous, throughout the years, that is a really well-known, despite the fact that no one here knew it, uh, painting that everyone kind of knows. You recognise that painting for a million. It stayed relevant throughout the years as being one of the best paintings ever. Hence why we did it for that thing, because hopefully those billboards will um, last. Yeah. Is it creation of Adam? <laughs> oh, fucking hell, I am. I am okay, so genius. none of that's true at all. We didn't do it fucking Sistine Chapel shit. That's the idea behind it, producer. We actually did it to make Pete feel uncomfortable. Yeah, and but, clearly but, it didn't work. Oh, so, so I've actually just thought too much into this. Yeah, thought, actually, that's completely. really clever. Fucking, because that's one of the most iconic, memorable, you've gone relevant fucking, paintings. You've, and actually all we've done is Sam wanted to get his cock out on a fucking <laughs> billboard and I had to be in it and touch him. Yeah, it's a really good picture. Anyway, myself and Pete... I'm fucking raging because I literally thought, that is quite good to know. You know what I mean? Like, that is... I like that. I'm glad that's you like good. it. 
Well, now it's well, not really now because now it's just like it's, it's more like ET now <laughs> than it is the creation of Adam. Do you know what I mean? Like fuck me. We did go and see um, our local billboards. Uh, oh, it was in was a fucking disaster. No, it wasn't. This is fucking cool. It was in Wandsworth. It was basically on Sam's front lawn. Yeah, yeah, it was in Wandsworth, right? It's enormous. It's on a digital billboard. It's massive. It changes every like three seconds, though, which is a bit annoying because you have to keep waiting for it to come back up. Yeah, we're in between Subway's new teriyaki chicken sub. And, and co-op. I think it's the co-op as yeah, well on the other side. Buy one, get one free on fucking condoms. Or yeah, something. yeah, it's not, it's not, it's a bit annoying, but we're still there and it's enormous on the side of this building. And so we, so Pete took his videographer and, um, and so we... Sam's videographer, because we were at Sam's at the time recording the music video, which you have heard in, in previous weeks. Um, so so it was on the same day. So luckily we managed for, for the rest of Sam's team to stay at home because they couldn't all fit in Sam's car. But Sam drove us down there. That was a fucking disaster as well, by the way. What? Sam driving every time is a disaster. No, you're just a backseat bitch. So Mate. we get to the car park. And Sam that was a tight space. Don't be a dick. That was a tight space, and no one could do that. No, it's just because there was pressure. Because there were like there were cars waiting, and then Pete just makes things so fucking hard. Like, and he gets in your head, and then you're panicking. So anyway, so there was that. We then walked around to try and find the um, the billboard. So as we're walking through the shopping centre, Sam is putting his hand in the air and going, "Yes, Pete Wicks from Towie over there," shouting at people, shouting that at people. He's famous. Literally shouting as we walk through. So already there's a stream of people thinking, who are those cocks? We then get to the billboard. You screamed. <laughs> it was a moment. It was a flipping moment, mate. And I was so happy to see it. It's enormous. It's up in lights. It is tucked away in between two buildings. Like it's quite hard to see. But when you do see it, Boy, does it shine on you. Um, and then other people came and looked no, no, at it. No, 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 they Yeah, they did. No, they didn't. Because they saw that we were there and they went, oh, they're, they're the same as them. <laughs> no, that's not what happened at all. Don't be a what dick. happened? Don't Sam tell the story it, wrong. And then Sam went to a, a group that were just walking past. We're up there, we're up there. As they look up, there was a Subway sandwich. So then he goes, no, wait, 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 we are. So then they stand there just looking at him thinking, what the fuck's going on? For about 30 seconds of just, we are coming up. Just hold on one minute. Hold on. And as they're about to go, oh, there we are, there we are. Uh, and then they go, oh yeah. And just walk off. <laughs> now that repeatedly happens with about, I don't know, 20 minutes worth of passers-by. It, it's when you start, when you got to the bus stop, as it was, it was about half past three in the afternoon, and all the kids were going home, and you went, come and look at us on the wall. <laughs> That's when it started getting fucking weird. <laughs> um, I just you know, when people did see it though, you know people were like, oh my God, that's quite cool. I mean, listen, if I'm honest with you, it, um, I, I've never been on a billboard. Now you have. And it's, yeah, it's, it's quite, quite cool. You stood away, weirdly. You got, like, embarrassed and, like, stood round the corner. Because you were screaming at people, look at me, look at me. No, I was saying, look at us, plural. Not really. And it's not that I was screaming at them. It's they didn't understand what was going on. So I had to go up to their faces and, like, turn them and be like, look at that. You manhandled people to, to no, look at you on a wall. No, it's because I knew it would be worth it to them. And so I was like, so I was like, I wanted them to, like... Acknowledge. We then had to um, obviously take a picture in front of it. Um, so I will just give you an example. Look how big it is. So that is Sam pointing at himself. <laughs> Fucking cool. The fuck Fucking are you lot cool. doing? Why are you clapping that? Mate, because it's an it's an achievement. Yeah, so so that was that was kind of the staying relevant moment for the week. For oh, the mate, it was sick. It was so sick. The adrenaline was going. The vibes were fucking there. The vibes weren't. The there, vibes to be were so about. there. I'd been at yours quite a lot already that day, and I was I was ready. It was the last thing I had to do before I was allowed to go allowed to go home. Before I was allowed to go home, so I, I popped into Black Sheep for a coffee, and that that sort of that made the trip worthwhile. Yeah, and then Pete, you know, Pete wants to go home when he goes. I want to go home. He like stops the H off it, and that's when you go. I want to go home. I want to go home, Sam. 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 I want to go home. Take me home. I'm done, Sam. Come here. 
Give us a kiss. <laughs> that took a weird turn. What, what, I don't understand why you think that's actually what I sound like. I don't understand, Sam, why you think that's what I sound like. I sound like a 90-year-old fucking bloke that was left in the, in the Blitz in London during the war. I got, I got cataracts, Sam. I got cataracts. I want to go home. To my does snake. That, does, that, does that sound like me? Yeah, fucking yeah. Oh, well. All right. On that fucking note, let's move on to the fucking sidebar of shame, shall we? Yeah, let's do it. Sidebar of shame. It's the sidebar of shame. Yeehaw. Number of things this week. Yeah. Um, uh, do you want to start us off? Or? Yeah, okay, here we go. Oh, do you actually want to start us off? Fuck me, you've actually got something. Um, so the House of Sims is coming out soon on OnlyFans. Very excited for that one. Uh, your ex, Chloe. We were never actually together, but yeah. No. That, well, listen, they, they obviously went over because they now moved to LA. They moved to LA. They're cracking America. Amazing. Would you run after her? No. Nope. Would you go out there? Would you fly? Go out there? I would love there? to go to LA. No, do you know what? Obviously, uh, she left Towie and the family left Towie and they moved to LA. And um, it feels like that's been going, that's been ages. So that's finally coming out, which is great. You going to watch it? No. Nope. Why? I don't watch any reality TV at all. Do you have OnlyFans? Nope. Would you subscribe to OnlyFans to watch it? Nope. Why not? It's not very friendly. Are you going to? Yeah. I love reality TV. I can't wait. You're absolutely not going to watch that. I am. You're not going to watch Yes, it. I fucking am. Well, don't be so stupid, Sam. Do you know why I'd never do OnlyFans? As in, I'd never subscribe to an OnlyFans. Because you, you, your accountant's going to see it. You just couldn't do it. Like, yeah. <laughs> well, we're just sitting there and you're going through so expenses, Sam, so expenses, OnlyFans. <laughs> yeah, I genuinely, like, and I could You're basically do saying, that. So, so basically, every time that... He goes, uh, you had a wank then. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah like, so, so basically, at the end of the thing, it'll go, do you know what I mean? Like, your fucking income, outcome, your expenditure, all that sort of stuff, and then at the bottom, it'll be wank count. Yeah, uh, and yeah. Just be a list for the year. I just don't, I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't have my accountant, my professional accountant looking and go, you had a wank on Tuesday at 3 p.m., didn't you, mate? So, I've had Pete on my podcast. This is your podcast, and Sorry. I'm on it every week. <laughs> I think I am a bit pissed. I've had Pete on my radio show for the first time ever. Bit nervous, actually. First Gotta be and honest. last. It was, uh, it's in front of my bosses, and no swearing, and it's actually, it was to market this show, so this podcast, and try and get those numbers up. And, uh, and the powers that be uh, were like, well, look, you can get him on, you the radio show. Okay, 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 let me just stop here, all right? Because the way you've phrased that is um, you begged and they weren't sure. So you've just phrased it as the pounds that be were like, well, yeah, you can get him on if you want. No, 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 no. no. I didn't want to do it. But at no point did I want to do this. They asked for me to do it. I couldn't swear. Nightmare. Had to write on a piece of paper in front of me so I remembered, don't swear. And you are possibly the worst interviewer <laughs> I have ever experienced I don't know how you have a job. God, what am I like? So my professional self, I'm pretty good. Fucking awful. I don't be like that. I, mate, I, in all seriousness, I don't know if it was just because you were carrying on this kind of thing that we do where, you know, you're the fucking idiot and, uh, you know, I mean, oh, fall off a chair again, woo, all that crap. Um, but if that's actually your interview style, it is um, cumbersome and, and, and to, to be honest with you, it 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 made me feel quite angry. Why? Throughout because it's just it's just dross, isn't it? It's just bollocks. <laughs> it's just a bit like you know. So there was no preparation. No prep. But bear in mind, you know me very well. Um, the opening question was: um, So, Pete, if you were a dinosaur, what would you be? <laughs> Podcast isn't about dinosaurs. Got absolutely fuck all to do with it. You then proceeded to tell people that I'd be dead soon uh, a number of times. Well, anyway, it was just a, a point. And to be perfectly honest with you, and let's, let's get this right, and this is what happens. When people come and do the, you, your interviews on your little radio station fucking show thing, uh, or they do interviews, it's because they're plugging something. So the idea of, of, of that interview was for me to plug the show that you're also with me on. Like, well, you know, this is our show. Yeah. That we're supposed to, we didn't talk about it. The interviewer owns half the show, as do I. Didn't mention it. 
It's because I was nervous. It's because I we spoke about fucking dinosaurs. <laughs> so, so the whole point of it was to publicise the fact that staying relevant is back and we're doing it and it's bigger and better and all the rest of it. And we spent 15 minutes in the gap to the point where at the end he went, oh, and the uh, podcast wins that out. You know, because it's your podcast. We spoke about it once. We didn't plug it at all. I think I started by going, we're joined by Pirate Pete. <laughs> are you feeling yeah, piratey? That was, that was the start of it. <laughs> we are joined by, which you've never called me Pirate Pete. Are you feeling piratey? <laughs> I mean, I don't even know what to say to that. So, yeah, it, it was completely pointless, really. So, if you did listen to that, the whole point of me being there was to promote this podcast, which we didn't do. Now, the reason that um, Sam looks like he's wearing the same clothes is because he is wearing the same clothes. He's just taking his hoodie off and he's got that awful T-shirt on, which doesn't go well with those high-vis trainers. Uh, they're fucking awful. They're amazing. But it's because we're having to record three episodes in one day today. Why is that, Sam? Because uh, I'm going on holiday, baby. Yeah, I'm away for two weeks because I've got to work. Uh, Sam is going on holiday. He's going back to South Africa to go on safari and then back to the Maldives, um, which is why we've had to do three. In, oh, and obviously last week he was rushed to hospital, blue lighted. I wouldn't so, rush to hospital. <laughs> he, uh, well, if you read the, the fucking opposite of the moon, then that's what it says. No, 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 no. I wasn't rushed to hospital. But we are going on holiday. Me and Zara haven't spent some quality time together for a very long time. Yeah, no, no. It must be really hard when you live together and don't really have proper jobs. We, I have a job. You work three hours a day. Fucking hard hours. Three hours a day. Mate, and we dance. So that is quality time, then. That's not, that's, that's, that is your quality time. Me and time. you, no, we, we do stuff. We do the podcast. That's one day. Back to South Africa, see some animals, love that. My dream sort of holiday, provided you go to a nice safari place. Then he's going back to the Maldives. Now, last time you went Maldives, talking of staying relevant, what happened? Uh, very nice time, saw some fish, <laughs> saw some turtles. Yeah. It's fucking beautiful. Well, no, because we all saw it on your Instagram because you took your videographer on your romantic oh. break. <laughs> so Sam, you know, yeah, no, I'm, babe, I'm going to take you more, Dave's. Uh, we had a lovely time. Yeah, on the plane, there they are, just waiting, just the two of them. Oh, God, it's going to be so romantic, Maldives, dream location, like everyone's on a honeymoon. And in the back, there's Ted with a camera. <laughs> Sam paid, <laughs> genuinely, it wasn't a free, paid for his videographer to go on his romantic break with his bird so that they could get some good footage and content. There's a reason for that. <laughs> so, so then what you can just imagine is Sam and his missus, romantic dinners, tripod in front of them. <laughs> Sam and Zara have a few fucking pina coladas on the beach. They get back, get into bed, tripod in front of them. Yeah, is he going with you this time? Are you creating some content in the Maldives? No, we're not. We're going for a Are you going to be on the front of a fucking safari truck with Ted in the background? Just <laughs> Put it this way, you might see a ring. No, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. And I'm going to be honest with you, I know that that's not happening because Sam and I have had the discussion, actually. Just before Christmas, Sam and I had, I'm not, and I'm not going to reveal anything, um, Zara, disappointing. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, so I know when that's happening. So it's not going to be on Safari in the Maldives. If it's happening at all. Well, it is. And you've already told her it's happening. She knows it's happening. No, it's just not, doesn't know when. It's not happening. You, oh, you don't want to marry them? No, I do want to marry them. Oh, so it is going to happen. Shut the fuck up. Well, I'm just saying, do you want to marry her or not? Yes. So you think you will marry her? At some point. Okay, so it is. The very far future. Yeah, so it's going to happen. Well, Miles away. To be honest with you, according to the, the start of this thing, you've only got to 2025. <laughs> so I'm, I'd probably get in there quick, mate. <laughs> Wish you were there. Invited Pete, actually. Uh, weird enough, he did, yeah. Invited Pete to safari. And, didn't fancy it. And no, I would love to do I would absolutely, it's my dream. You said no. Because I'm working. I can't go. And also, if I was going to go on safari, let's just bear in mind... Um, that safari, you go and say, I love animals. Everyone so fucking knows that. Yeah. So what a fucking amazing thing to do. Now, you go on safari, you're supposed to be quiet on safari. The last thing I want is you there going, Pete, it's an elephant! <laughs> Pete, it's a giraffe! I couldn't think of anyone worse to go on fucking safari with than you and Zara. Why? What's Zara going to do? Zara... Zara, oh, Zara will just be, uh, you two will be having some sort of weird bicker where she goes, but Sam, why are you talking to me like that? And you go, I'm sorry, goosey, goosey, bear. Like, just, I don't want to be around that. I don't want to hear it. I love Zara away from you and I tolerate you away from her. So I, I just don't want to be part of that. I couldn't think of anything worse, but Safari, I am very jealous. Do you know where Pete is coming? He's coming away with me in the summer. We're going to New York, motherfucker! We're going to right. Pay the problem with this, I'm just going to point this out really quickly and then we've got to go, um, is 
Sam's 30th birthday was last year and he went to my bay of his friends for fucking 10 days and I promised him that I wouldn't. Um, oh, we've got a guest. It's so lovely. It's, you look fabulous. Um, uh, I promised him that I, I wouldn't be going because I, I didn't want to go. I didn't want to go and spend 10 days in Marbella with him and his mates because just why would you? And I surprised him for his birthday. That was a one-time thing. One time. It was fucking magical. So this year, Sam's going to New York for his birthday. And now thinks I'm coming. I, but that was you've one agreed. Time. You've accepted it. You said yes. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. You said yes. No, Don't be a fucking. I fucking Don't didn't play say this yes. game. Bollocks, you the fucking cameras tits. are on. The voice recordings here, and everyone's suddenly like, "Oh no!" You said yes, and you're booking your flight. I said I would love to go to New York. Anyway, we'll see whether that happens or not. We're going to paint the town brown. I don't even know what to say. I don't know what that means. Does we're, that mean saying? Yeah, we're just gonna fuck it up. Yeah, red. We can yeah, red. Oh, we're gonna paint the town red, baby. Fuck me, that was weird. Anyway, that's us done for the day. I'm fed up and done it. I've had a brilliant day. If you see the billboards out there, go and check them out and then take a photo of it. Yeah, take a photo. Uh, if you've got any weird things that people are doing, that's that's actually funny because we know what the billboards look like, so it's boring if you just send a picture of that. No, no, do no, no. send photos of no, billboards. No, don't bother, that's a fucking waste of time. Um, anyway, uh, so subscribe, follow, rate, review, all that sort of stuff. Follow us on Instagram, which is Damon with Podcast. TikTok is exactly the same. YouTube comes out every Friday. It's got extra bits. Monday is when the new episodes come out every week. Uh, and you can find us on all podcast platforms. Yes. Love us. Love us, please. That was fucking desperate. <laughs> no, is it just like us? That was sort of still desperate. Just keep listening. If you want to. Please. If you don't, go and listen to something worthwhile. Don't do that. No, don't do that about your own podcast. This is fucking worthwhile. I'm not going to beg people to listen. If you don't want to listen, don't fucking listen. It's really, it's quite simple. I will beg you. Please. Yeah, that's how we got Zara. Please. It's always there. I like it though. It makes you feel sturdy. It's always the you. It's like you're holding up Freddie Mercury. Thank you for getting that reference. I'm glad someone did.